The movie starts with a 17-year-old girl named Noah. She is packing her things to move to another city. She also puts a picture of her father in her suitcase. Going to a new town in front of them opens incredible views of the sea, beach, trees, and beautiful nature. The girl gradually gets used to it. In the car with her mother, Rafaela, Noah reads a book and is silent. Rafaela tries to talk to her daughter, but the girl continues reading. Rafaela tells her that she has met a new husband and it is worth starting a new life. She lets her daughter know she has no choice as she is under 18 and will live in a new house. They arrive at a luxurious mansion where the girl realizes her stepfather is rich. When they arrive and are met by Rafaela's husband and the servants, the girl clarifies that she's not happy about the move. She starts taking things out of the car and they get into an argument with a butler named Martin. Noah meets her stepfather, and they go into the house. Showing the house to the girl, she realizes how rich their family is and feels awkward. The girl doesn't care about anything in the house, the pool, the spa, or the new car, and she asks if they have a library. Rafaela showed her daughter her new room, and the girl started unpacking her things. As it turns out, her stepbrother Nicholas's room is next door. Noah now realizes for sure that this is her new home. She takes a couple of pictures of expensive clothes and sends them to her friend. When she goes to the terrace, she sees her stepbrother Nicholas. At this time, her friend calls her and the guy notices the girl. Noah tells her friend how rich the new family is, but she doesn't care and is better off in the last town. Noah is looking for the refrigerator to have a snack. But when she closes the fridge, she gets scared because she sees her half-brother Nicholas, who is very attractive. But then, her friend heard her as she didn't put the phone down. Nicholas recognizes her half-sister's name, Noah, crouched behind the phone. The girl is scared of the dog and becomes nervous and defensive. Nicholas tells her not to make the dog angry as it will become aggressive. Here for the first time, there is a spark between the half-brother and sister. As she walked into the room, she realized that her friend was still listening to everything, and Noah told her that he was really handsome and that she liked him. The whole family gathers for dinner and waits for the girl as they pick out a dress. As we see she has a unique choice. Nick likes her bold choice too. She texts her boyfriend Dan that she misses him and to call her back, but he says he's busy. She sees Nick catching up with them in his car and throwing a cigarette out the window, which surprises the girl as he looks like a bad guy. Upon entering the restaurant, her stepfather offers to use her last name, but the girl refuses. She jokes with the waiter and introduces herself as Sonora Lester, which embarrasses the waiter, and the waiter apologizes for the misunderstanding. They go to the table and see her mother talking to her stepfather. Noah also notices that the waitress is seducing Nicholas. Speaking at the table, Noah realizes that her parents don't know Nick smokes and it will be her secret. Nick is about to leave for his friend's job, and the girl jokes that if the friend's job doesn't work out, she can always work at her dad's. The guy leaves and Noah says she has to go too. He tells his son to give his sister a ride home. On the way he drives dangerously and they argue as Noah hits on her brother with memories of her mother. He stops the car to drop the girl off. Noah's phone is dead, and she can't call a cab. After a while, she sees a car and tries to stop it by insulting the driver for driving by. The car stopped and backed up where sat a nice guy named Mario who, as it turned out, knows Nicholas and is going to the same party. On the way, the girl tells him that Nicholas is her half-brother and she lives in his house. She says something about him dropping her off in the driveway and driving away. It turns out Nicholas is throwing the party. When she arrives at the party, her new friend tells her that it's the party of a very dangerous guy named Ronnie, who just got out of prison yesterday. Seeing that Nick is a womanizer, she realizes her parents don't know their son very well for leaving her on the road. She beats her up and he tries to calm her down. Seeing that Noah is attractive and notices the tattoo near her ear, he asks where she's from, and the girl responds coldly. He makes her understand not to get involved in his company and to keep her mouth shut about his parties at home. Jenna, a friend of Nick, introduces herself to Noah. They go to the party, Nick meets his friend, who brags about his car. At the same time, Noah looks at pictures of her boyfriend with her best friend and wants revenge by kissing another guy. Jenna advises her new friend to text and kiss the hottest guy. Nick's friend wonders who this new girl is after walking up to them and kissing Anna. He meets Noah, his name is Lion. Noah sees Nicholas with the new girl and Ronnie meets Noah as he knows it is Nick's sister and tries to get her drunk. Nick notices and defends his sister. He tells her she's been drugged and takes her home, but she resists. In the car, she starts acting strange. She is cold and hot, and the brother realizes that the drug has started to work as the girl begins to talk a lot. They arrive home and he takes the sister to her room and puts her to bed. At this time, she has a dream from her childhood where her parents have a complicated relationship. In the morning, when Nick meets up with Noah, they discuss what happened the night before. The guy jokes that she is funny and puts her to bed. When they meet her parents and want to tell them what happened yesterday but hesitates, Nicholas helps her out and texts her that she watched a movie at a friend's house, and the parents thank the guy for introducing Noah to his friends. She checks her phone and sees that there was a text sent that same night where she shows affection for Nick. She gets angry that her mom separated her from her boyfriend Dan and leaves. An unknown number calls on the beach. At the same time, 
Noah sees his brother with his friends, who also came to the beach to surf. Nick asks his friends an interesting fact that his sister said at night, and Noah realizes that Nick is very attentive and gradually falls in love, especially when the guy starts putting on his costume. Jenna immediately notices that Noah has been looking at her brother very differently. Her sister also notices other girls approaching Nick to get to the race, but the guy pretends that he doesn't know what it's about. Noah is curious about the race as she enjoys racing and can drive. Before the race, everyone cheers and cheers the drivers. From the first race, Nick is cheered up and shows his calmness and confidence, noticing his sister with Jenna. The guy gets distracted by her as Noah is very pretty and misses the start, but later he catches up with his rival. Noah sees how fast he is catching up. Nick is distracted again as he considers Mario flirting with his sister and falls a little behind, but he pulls himself together, overtakes his rival on the turn, and finishes as the winner. Ronnie is not happy that Nick won and devises a plan to outsmart him. At the same time, Noah gets to socialize with her boyfriend and her best friend. She decides to get back at him and find a new boyfriend. She has a few drinks and dances while the other riders compete. Nick doesn't take his eyes off his sister. Noah gets a new text message and jealously kisses the new guy. Nick realizes what's up and watches them. The brother walks over and chases the new guy away. He offers to make a deal. He will kiss her to make her boyfriend Dan jealous, but on the condition that she goes home afterwards. He approaches and kisses her tenderly. The passion intensifies as we can see it's more than a photo. Noah is really into Nick and gets in the car. She broke up with her boyfriend over the phone by sending a picture. She's curious to ride in this car, so she gets behind the wheel and turns the key. At that time, Ronnie arrives at the start, sees the girl in the car, and starts the race. She tries to back out but fails. At the same time, Nick is with his girlfriend in the car and hurries to the start as he hears the siren but does not have time to run to the car. Ronnie says that if no one goes, his team wins automatically, and the girl decides to start. Nick's friends are wondering why he's not in the car and don't know who the driver is. Soon, they see Noah behind the wheel. She paints her lips to piss off her rival, and the race begins. They drive on the same level, but on the turn, the girl is first, on the second, she is already behind, but soon she catches up. She makes her rival angry, and he scares her on the corner. She is ahead of him again. On the hardest corner, she takes the lead and passes him perfectly. Ronnie starts ramming the car and Noah is confused about what is going on and comes first to the finish line. As it turns out, Noah broke the rules and Nick has to pay and return the car. Nick takes his sister out but when Ronnie starts hurting her, Nick picks a fight. The two gangs initiate a shout-out. Jenna takes Noah and Nick's place and they leave. In the morning her mom is there and meets her friend. They go to a party and Noah finds out that Nick last came home four days ago. At the same time, Nick is sleeping on the beach. Going to the event, Rafaela and Will pick out outfits, but her husband realizes something is wrong and tries to calm Rafaela down. Her daughter notices everything and realizes that they have true love. On the beach, Nick is playing with his little sister Maggie, and he says he has to leave early today. Later that evening, the family arrives home, but Nick shows up a little later and sees Noah lying on the couch. She looks very seductive, and he sits down with her. They have a continuation without words. They can't stop until mom walks in. In the morning, Nick sees Noah washing her car. He won't let his brother near it but doesn't forbid him to watch. Noah seduces and pours water on herself. Her clothes become transparent. Her mom approaches Noah and brings her ex-boyfriend Dan with her. He tries to kiss her but she knows he's cheating with her friend. Nick is watching. A little while later, Noah runs to Nick and tells him they're in trouble. Her ex-boyfriend is here and he doesn't recognize Nick, so he pushes his brother into the pool. Dan tries to justify himself by saying he still loves her but he gets waterboarded and Noah walks away. Nick pulls her into the pool and she tries to swim away from him but he swims after her. As he gets closer to his sister, he explores her body, which she likes. They keep kissing until Rafaela starts looking for Nick. Dan finds out that the guy in the picture is Nick. Dan is put on the same floor as the girls. When she sees the note in the flowers, she freaks out. She thinks Dan is sending them but Dan says he's not. Coming out of the restaurant, Ronnie approaches Nick in the red Porsche he took at the race. Nick notices Dan going to his sister's house when he gets home. He goes to the balcony where Noah is lying. He covers her scar and that's when his sister wakes up and stabs him, she sees he's bleeding, she undresses him and washes his wounds. They agree they won't walk on their own. Noah examines Nick and kisses him. They realize it's wrong but continue to get to know each other more. A man interrupts them and they leave. In the morning Nick's father sees his abrasions but the butler plays along and says he cleaned the leaves by the pool. Noah gets a new threatening letter but won't admit what's happening. Fighting in the car, the friends talk about how they got into the race. Anna, Nick's girlfriend, tells who taught Noah how to drive like that. It was her father, who, according to the girl, died after arriving at the race. Noah gives her brother the same model car she lost. Nick says he's falling in love even more, and they continue to get to know each other even better, getting closer. Noah can't resist what they say, what he does to her. He's getting deeper and deeper into her head. 
Here his friends drive by, and they interrupt. They have a new car to race, it's Anna's car that they've made improvements to. It turns out they come to Fight Club. Noah tries to talk his brother out of fighting, but says he likes to do it and the fight begins. Nick deftly dodges punches and attacks his opponent, beating him up. Noah walks away while the battle continues, and Nick misses too many punches. Nick wins and takes the prize. Nick looks for Noah and notices Mario kissing her. He pushes her friend. Noah says she's afraid of her brother and that they shouldn't continue their relationship. They leave. In the morning, Nick is running on the beach. Noah is working at the cafe. They each go about their business. She remembers to each other how good they were together. She wraps the car with the butler and drives off. At work, she receives the threatening letter again, and her hands tremble. Will tells her son about Noah's father, that he beat her as a child and may hurt her again. He got out of prison two weeks ago. The parents ask Nick to be there to protect his sister. Noah doesn't know yet that her father is out of prison and asks Nick not to tell her. Later at a party, Noah is out with a friend and her father is watching them. She needs to answer her brother's calls. Later, they don't leave the boring party and Noah gets sick. At the same time, Nick arrives without noticing they are being watched. Noah returns for his jacket, and Anna pushes it into the closet. Noah has another nightmare, after which Nick pulls it out. They drive home and her brother puts her to bed. Noah asks Nick to stay as she is very scared. He hugs her to calm her down, and she falls asleep. They wake up together in the morning before he walks. His father comes into the room. His dad says that Maggie is in the hospital and Nick needs to see her. It turns out his sister is fine. The two sisters get to know each other and the doctor says everything is fine, and the girls need some rest. On the way home they stop to talk. Nick confesses his love for her, but that may soon be over. They head to the beach to take the next step and get to know each other as intimately as possible. He goes down to her scar and does whatever she wants. After achieving their wish, lying on the sand, they savor the moment. In the morning, they tell stories about themselves and are glad things worked out the way they did. Nick suggests they run away together. Arriving at the gas station, Nick leaves his sister in the car for a few minutes. Ronnie immediately gets in the car and kidnaps Noel. While her brother is at the register, he notices that the girl has been abducted. He looks at the security cameras and sees that Ronnie did it. The detective starts looking for her. His father finds out about his son's racing, fighting, and partying hobbies and calms Rafaela down. Noel wakes up handcuffed. She reaches for water and is motioned to a glass. As it turns out, it's her father, Jonas, whom she's terrified of. He admits that all the threatening letters were from him. He calls Rafaela and says that he will avenge the past and demands a ransom of $1 million. He tells her where to bring the ransom and to be without the police. They both discuss a plan of action, and Jonas punches Ronnie. After everyone arrives, Jonas watches them through hidden cameras. Rafaela realizes it's not about the money. The detective asks Nick if it's true that he lost the car, and Nick says he's still paying for the insurance and then realizes that they can track the vehicle via GPS. The detective tracks the car and Jonas realizes he's been followed and is about to leave. Noah pulls out of the garage and tries to get away. Nick catches up with him and Jonas shoots his ex-wife. All cover her with a suitcase and they are unharmed. The chase continues. Noah's father tells her why he kidnapped her and that he regrets not becoming a world champion racer and going to prison. Now, he's out for revenge. Nick is on her tail, and Noah has only one option left. She reaches the edge and turns around. Nick is in the way with nowhere to go. Noah realizes it's the end, but they get an idea. They drive until someone makes a U-turn. Making a sharp U-turn, Nick leans in and the detective shoots her father. The chase is called off and the police find Ronnie as the chase ends. Rafaela sees a dead body, it's her ex-husband. Noah and Nick are okay. That same night at home, they meet again and Nick is ready to continue protecting her. He confesses his love, and Noah is happy, showing it is mutual. 